Hey guys, welcome back to the Kin Woven Home. As you know, my name is Shara, and today we are actually gonna be going outside and you're gonna get to see our side porch for the very first time. When we first moved into this house, this was one of the most exciting projects for me. I just visualized us spending so much time as a family out on this porch. There was nothing really on it. So in Oklahoma, it gets really hot, I know, but there are seasons where the weather is perfect, and in those seasons, we love utilizing this porch and hanging out. So I do wanna have you guys answer a question of the video, and that is, what is your favorite outdoor game? So that could be bocce ball, that could be like, What's the hacky sack one in the hole? Cornhole. That could be like the one where you throw nunchucks and you try to get it on a PVC pipe. I don't know what that one's called, but I wanna know what you guys like to play outside. Okay, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so the first thing that we did outside, well, I didn't do this. Tyler, my trusty husband, wonderful man, built me some porch swings. And you did the whole process on your stories, right? The most part. If you wanna see how he built this sucker, go check out his Instagram stories. We were starting to look at what porch swings cost, and they are very pricey. And so we're like, what the heck? Why, we want two of them, that's like a lot of money. What if you just build them yourself? He did such a great job. So we actually found some really great build plans, like instructions on how to build these. And I'll link them below to the exact plans that Tyler followed. He said it was very easy. He went to Home Depot, got all the materials, and was able to build each of them and paint them in a day. Actually, he may have painted them the second day, but I just painted them white. I wanted these benches to be really spacious. I wanted them to be an actual twin size, like not just like a bench seat, I wanted it to be like a bed. So like a swinging day bed, because we have such beautiful trees outside on our little side property. And I just wanted to enjoy the Oklahoma wind and lay out on the day bed, you know? So I will show you guys some details of that. Again, if you're interested in those plans, I'm gonna link them below. But one thing to note, if you follow on Instagram, then you're probably very familiar with what happened with our covers for these day beds. A porch pirate stole these coveted covers that Tyler searched all over in the color I wanted. And what's a porch pirate gonna do with a cover? I don't know. Anyway, those were the covers that we got. They're a beautiful color. They kind of mix with the color of the house. Again, they're outdoor and he scotch guarded the fabric. That really makes it so that the fabric that you are sitting on is still soft, but it's also weather durable, which is awesome. Of course, um, I picked this really beautiful jute rope for him to hang the benches on. And as far, I wish we would have filmed the tutorial on how to make it, but honestly, we were just like, let's just make it and see if you can figure it out. We weren't thinking we were like the experts in it to like film a video. And I just think the finished product is amazing. love putting all of the little pillows on it. I think the final details, the color palette, I wanted to bring in some blues to go with the sky and then the taupey colors to go with the house. Um, I think the white pops really well against the green trees, which I think is awesome. And of course, I could not find outdoor pillows that I liked when we were buying or when we were building this. So I went to Home Goods and got inexpensive pillows. They're not outdoor, but I scotch guarded them and I'll let you know how they keep up. So far, they look pretty good. I think maybe every year I'd have to replace them unless I wanna get like the expensive Sunbrella fabric outdoor pillows, but trying to save some money here. So I got these awesome Home Goods ones. And as you know, my mom and I, we have been down the pillow selection at Home Goods. We kind of have a pillow addiction. Now, the benches themselves are beautiful, but what we realize is when you sit on the bench, you're either looking up, you could look out if you're laying down, or you're looking at the brick wall, which is the house. So we wanted to have seating that was kind of across from one of the benches that looks out onto the trees, allows for there to be some conversational area if we have guests that are coming over and wanting to sit out there with us. And so we actually worked with Article. They have the most beautiful rocking chairs, outdoor rocking chairs. They are so comfortable. Tyler was worried at first that they don't have like arm you know, arms on the chairs. And I was like, who cares? They're cute, let's just get them. Once they came in, he sat down on them and he was like, holy crap, these are 
it, they do have arms. They're just like the side, you can tell the side detail is like this curved thing. It's very ergonomic, they're very comfortable. I love the neutral color um, of, the fat, of the material. It's an outdoor material, so it's not gonna mold or anything like that. We have a great little outdoor table in between that we can put drinks on, um, and I think it turned out really great. You guys know I love working with Article. Just a reminder, if you do shop with them, they do free shipping if your order is over $9.99. And if your order is not over $9.99, they do a flat rate of $49 to ship into Canada or into the US. I did order a bunch of stuff from Article for our backyard. Some of it's come in, some of it hasn't, so I'm waiting to share that final video with you, but I will link all of the things that we are using from them because they, they just came out with a ton of new stuff for 2021. And it's amazing. And it's on their website. So if you want a sneak peek, you could go look at that now. And then the last thing that we did out here is we accessorized. Obviously, I showed you the pillows. We also have a throw blanket that you can cozy up in if you'd like. And if you guys saw my project with Cricut on Instagram, um, they are a, it's a die cutting machine. We did a stencil um, like sticker that we kind of decorated a tray table. We try to be casual out there, but also have some cute cups, cute decorative things to just make it all come together. Do you hear these cicadas? Oh my gosh, they are so loud, which actually kind of makes it look feel cool out here. I know they don't look that good, but they sound cool. So do you guys love the way this porch turned out? I think it turned out fabulous. And it's just really special to just like lay underneath the trees and feel the breeze and just enjoy the summer air. Hopefully the fall air soon. It'll be a lot cooler in the fall, so I know that we're gonna really enjoy it out here and cozy up in a blanket. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you wanna check out the plans on how to build these guys, I'll link it below. If you're interested in the article stuff, I'll link that below. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you have an amazing summer and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna take a nap, okay? Bye-bye. Especially on days like today, it's like not even hot. Look at me, I'm such an oaky. The fact that I think 88 isn't even hot. Like, Oh, I can breathe out here? This is cool.